Hi everyone, have you ever wanted to paint realistic reflections in metal such as the one in this kettle? If yes, then stay tuned because I'll be offering my top tips. I get so many messages and requests from people who want tips and advice on how to paint reflective surfaces in metals, so I thought I'd do a tutorial on this, and in this video I'm going to share a few of my best tips. But first, if you haven't already, please make sure you subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. This really helps artists. I've got a full tutorial on how to paint this on my new Patreon channel and I'll put the link in the description below. So now on to the tips. One of the best tips that I ever heard years ago was to paint what I see and not what I think I see. And what I mean by this is when I'm looking at the reference for this, for example, my brain is registering a kettle. So in order to properly see what I really need to paint, I can't let myself just think of a kettle. I need to break this down into smaller parts and not just look at the whole. If I just look at the kettle and think about painting a tea kettle or a water kettle, this could get a little bit confusing. So I try and switch how I see things. That means instead of thinking about painting this complicated looking kettle, I think about painting shapes and colors instead. I sit and observe my subject, whether I'm painting from life or from a reference. I try and break down all of the shapes I see inside the subject as well as all of the colors and all of the values. Rather than looking at my reference and just thinking about how am I going to start painting this kettle and where do I start, I try and break down all of the individual shapes inside the kettle as well as determine which colors these shapes are going to be. The shapes in the kettle are the reflections from the room that the kettle is in. And so when I look at it, I see a window in the center, which is the brightest area. I also see funky black shapes from the handle that's being reflected onto the kettle. I also see that there's a tiny chandelier on the ceiling, which I will paint in after. On and on I go analyzing my reference photo, and then I determine my values. I determine what my darkest darks are, what my lightest lights are, and I go from there. So in order to have realistic looking metals also, I really want to make sure that I have strong contrast between the lights and the darks. Once I've determined all of those, I paint in the darkest areas. Once those are in, I can start adding in my mid-tones and then from there my lightest tones. I always work in layers too, so my first layers are always the ugly stage. And from there, I layer more color and I keep refining as I go along. And then I save my final details for the end. And it's during this final stage that I'll add the brightest highlights too. So to summarize, if you want to paint realistic reflections in metals, just flip how your brain sees things. Instead of trying to paint what you think you see, try and look at things differently and paint what you really see instead of what you think you see. Look at your reference or your subject and break it down. Break down the values, determine your darkest darks and your lightest lights and where you're going to paint them. And then determine all of the shapes inside the subject. So in this kettle, I determine all of the objects inside the room and all the different shapes. So break down the shapes and break down what color those shapes are going to be. And then from there, just build up your layers and then save your final details for the end and save your brightest reflections for the end also. I really hope these tips helped. I know that for me, once I understood this concept, once I understood how to flip my brain to paint what I saw and not what I thought I saw, my art changed completely and I started creating more realistic art. So I hope these tips help. If you want the in-depth full tutorial, be sure to visit my Patreon channel. I have two tiers. I have one tier for oil painting and I have one tier for pastel painting. So be sure to check it out. I'll put the link in the description below. And until next time, take care guys.